Nope. It, it, it's going to get more active. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right now, it did June, July, kind of the, the dead part of the year, but August, September, we tend to see a flurry of mm -hmm. activity. Uh, talking about that natural disaster, Ike, we've got a, another one ongoing in our part of the world, a big drought here yeah. right now. We desperately need rain. We've only had seven inches to date. We uh, should be up around 16, 17 inches, so we're running about a nine-inch deficit there on the rainfall. By the way, I'm working on another blog. It's going to be comparing the 2011 drought to this year's drought and the similarities between the two. Uh, so that'll be on KTRIPLITV.com um, likely next few hours. 97 is what we hit outside today. Not a record, but certainly hot. Still 92 with a feel like temperature of 102. Southeast breeze 22 miles per hour. And we did see again those little stray sea breeze showers pop up mainly along and west of the Highway 281 corridor. Those are going to fizzle out, dwindle away between now and about 7, 8 o'clock and will be dry tomorrow. Uh, but with this high pressure feature, sitting off the coast of Florida. It's going to continue to send us little waves of tropical moisture, which will keep the little isolated chances for rain in play for a few days. So we had some moisture to work with today. We saw those showers inland this afternoon. Tomorrow, drier air comes in courtesy Saharan dust. So I'm not thinking we'll see a whole lot of rain tomorrow, uh, if any at all. And then Sunday, just isolated stuff in the later parts of the day with another plume of moisture working in from the Gulf. That'll be in place Sunday, Monday, and even lingering into Tuesday before the drier air returns by the mid to late parts of next week, and that drier air is going to be accompanied by yet another round of Saharan dust. So the rainfall chances, they're not great, but at least it's something isolated showers, which means more people will not get rain than those that do. That'll be in place Sunday in the later part of the day through Monday and into early Tuesday. And it's just this is what we're in right now. We're in a very dry weather pattern, barring a tropical system. It's going to stay that way. It looks like here tomorrow morning, mid 70s. As we wake up, we'll see uh, mainly sunny skies. They will be hazy out there. Upper 90s to around 100 inland on Sunday. Same type of deal. A little less haze mid 70s in the morning. And there will be, I think, a chance for an isolated shower here on Sunday. The tropics are quiet. Big batch of Saharan dust in the Atlantic that tends to mitigate activity, uh, and this is the one that will come in by the end of next week. The one that's coming in this weekend, not quite as robust there, but still going to be enough to turn our skies hazy for the weekend on Saturday and even Sunday, uh, and then it'll linger in the first parts of next week before that second batch comes in by Thursday, Friday. So we're not going to be done with the Saharan dust yet. We will see it this weekend. Skies will be haziest on Saturday, a little less dust Sunday, and then some lingering dust in the air Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday before that next plume comes in by the end of next week. Tonight, 76, calm southeast wind 5 to 10 overnight. Tomorrow, hazier skies, the heat index up near 110 with a high of 97 and a southeast breeze 10 to 20 miles per hour. Triple digits inland near 90 at the coast tomorrow. The heat index values 100 to 110. If you're going out to the beach, put sunscreen on and keep reapplying. Rip current risk going to be low air temps near 90 heat index values near 100 at the beach on the water just slightly choppy in the afternoon with the south breeze 5 to 15 knots 2 to 3 foot waves in the near shore gulf waters and aside from that little isolated rain chance sunday monday tuesday it's more of the same with mid 90s the next seven days and more saharan dust by the end of next week leslie mike all right alan thanks well my dad just